Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Bruce Wartz. Thanks for the interest. Guys, we're on the surface of the moon. Look at the Mons Argeus we just went by here. We're, this is Bessel Crater, I'll get an arrow up with a line going through it. This is 17 kilometers. Look at the terrain of Mare Serenitatis, all this entire area that we're looking at here. Do you see the rocky, bumpy, elevated and descending levels, terrains, uh, pathways here and there? And in reality, if you look up Mare Serenitatis, they don't talk about that at all. Not even NASA, not nowhere. And they talk about it being flat. And you know, um, we hear high albedos when they say that, they're talking about um, a flooded crater that would have elevated here on the edge of Mare Serenitatis, that crater at the back. We're looking at a surface that's very different. And when we get in close, it is very different. So I'm trying to adjust your eyes for the next scene which is very close and we're going to see some greenery on the surface and a bridge like object. There's many bridges and paths. It there, they are absolutely all over the surface of the moon. Here's Archimedes crater as we're going down. All right. So are your eyes ready? Um, back your head up a bit, uh, a little more. Now look up here and try to focus the overall terrain on the surface of the moon is this greenery. Can't help but wonder if it's vegetation. Now listen, we're looking at a, a surface. See the line that's going here. It leads off to the left and to the right. There are both objects. To the left, that crater, um, each crater's edge, you ever find it odd that the craters always have one side to it. One elevated side is supposed, supposedly flooded there. No, come on. The bases are there. They're made, these craters are made to look like broken up craters. In reality, there's nothing broken. Everything's very, very symmetrical. And the closer you get, you know, we're getting these hazes, clouds, smokes on the surface, which is normal. The same thing we would um, probably happen for someone trying to, to view Earth from the moon, which is another thing that we've never seen, you know, or have we? Really, really looking from the moon it would be awesome having a telescope looking back on Earth to see if they could see any structures. All these tests would have been amazing. Plato Crater, another one that I've really zoomed up on the surface. And when you do, there's so many structurings and objects that look like they were built and constructed and you go back on certain days and sometimes they're less apparent and um, coming to the understanding that a possible cloud cover or haze, maybe an industrial smoke, who knows? Something, someone is up there, you know, living their lives, probably just like us here on earth, you know, Techno Thanks YouTube channel, Techno Thanks written just the way I say it. Another guy I appreciate very much. And, um, I love listening to him talk while he's showing how he edits the surface and shows all the structures, by the way, on the surface and on many other planets, actually, and moons. Check them out. Why am I saying this? Because I'm not alone. There are other channels. There are other people who are doing um, the research and the work and that know it's worth doing it because there are structures on the surface of the moon. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you guys. All these structures and amazing things that we're looking at. If you're new to the channel and you've just arrived here, I want to personally thank you so much for the interest and the trust you have in my research and work. I have a 14 inch telescope. Thanks to the community here, we've raised the money to be able to buy um, a Celestron CGXL 1400 HD telescope. It has a lot of definition and I'm hoping uh, to show a lot of what is going on on the surface, the surface itself, the topography of the moon. As I continue my studies, I'll share everything with you, the findings, and there's going to be a lot of findings, guys. We found UFOs. Uh, there are UFOs like... Uh, for example, Crow 
sees um, a nice video that he got a couple of years back, totally amazing, of, you know, perfect proof of a UFO flying between Earth and the moon, probably closer to the moon. But what I'm finding right now is on the actual surface, very, very close to the surface, it seems to be flying up over the air, but not that high up. I could say maybe a, if I'm taking a guess, a small plane's length, you know, why am I saying that? And that's not really important right now. What's important is that there are objects there. And if they're not alien intelligent objects, it could be life, creatures, animals, whatever, in space. So and then you can't help but wonder that maybe the oxygen levels, etc., would be higher. Listen, if life creatures are flying around down there or up there, there has to be an elevated atmosphere. More, more what, do, what do I mean by elevated? Higher than what they said. One sixth of Earth? I don't think so. You know, it's really sad that out there, I'm hearing on YouTube that apparently there's a lot of bull crap about, you know, fake things that are being posted. I tend to think that maybe sometimes these things are not necessarily fake, but when something is out of the norm, people tend to really shun. They tend to push it away and discredit it, and they'll do what others are doing. They'll look at the comments and, you know, because it's hard to stand up alone. I get it. But... In reality, what we're looking at on the surface are constructed objects in many areas. And say to yourself, if they're not constructed and they are natural, well, why even being natural were they not talked about? They are beautiful. You can see pipes going from left to right. And we'll be looking in detail and counting these objects to be sure that no new ones appear.
special thank you to Mr. Robert Ballard for the generous donation. Welcome to the community.